free of failure. As long as not gonna kill you, it's gonna make you what? Stronger. Check some videos, and uh, I came across this uh, Jeff uh, Bezos video. It was very, very in interesting. Uh, check it out. Okay, so um, following up with that, you were quoted as saying, "I believe you have to be willing to be misunderstood oh, if God, you're going yes. to innovate." So, how are you misunderstood? If you're going to do, Amazon? if you're going to do anything new or innovative, you have to be willing to be misunderstood. And if you can't tolerate that, then for God's sake, don't do anything new or innovative. Now, FYI, uh, first of all, all young entrepreneurs out there, man, YouTube is the place to be, man. Especially e-commerce is booming in Africa. Rwanda is, uh, is leading the way with a lot of initiative. You need to start watching a lot of the Jeff Bezos uh, videos because he talks a lot about e-commerce. You know, I'm not going to get into detail, but I, I'm not even in e-commerce. Uh, I learned a lot about that business, but but it was talking about innovation. So the word is misunderstood, right? I would even get, you know, a little bit deeper, but rejected, you know, not accepted, not approving of your technology, all the above and, and some more. But it was very interesting what he mentioned about you know, misunderstood, but how do you deal with it? And I see a lot of entrepreneurs with great ideas and the word misunderstood, it's actually, they take it as maybe the idea or their solution is not needed or it's not something uh, companies or individuals are looking for. And that's why you see, you know, uh, people spending years and years and years and years pushing for the, innovation pushing for the 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 their, not not just idea but their solution you know so people it gets to the people's psyche right and and um it becomes second nature you know now if you go to amazon it's it's normal like you know <laughs> funny thing is it you probably look at somebody go to a retail store try to look for products like whoa well, who does that again you know who who still buy from a retail shop at least in the, in the States, it'd be like more of a go on Amazon. But I'm sure when it started, everybody was uh, talking about Amazon like, oh, this is the worst idea ever. But especially for, for, for young innovator out there, right? It's not because a company or customer don't understand your, your solution. What you need to do is give them the best value possible whether it's saving on time, saving on costs, saving on, um, you know, bring them uh, some type of leverage, whatever it is, you gotta give them the best value to the customer. And it takes time, you know, because they're so used to do a certain things a certain way that by bringing something new, will take time for them to adopt it. It might take five years, 10 years, 20 years, you know, but as long as you have your vision on the long run, not on the short, you know, short term, you're going to be a winner, you know, but massive value. And to the point where we, we look, especially on the B2B model, you know, sometimes they don't even see, we, 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 we develop a solution um, that help companies save money on monitoring, for example, one of the solution we have. And they might not see the value on that. So what do you do? You provide your solution for free for a period of time. You might as well lose some on the short term and win big on the long run, but you have to have a long-term vision. You cannot just say, hey, they don't get it. I want my money now. You know, they either get it or they, or I'm gone. No, that is not going to work like that. They got to see it. They got to experience the value, you know. So it, it, that, that's my take on this, guys. I, I just wanted to share that, that uh, aspect of innovation because – you know, sometimes we take rejection as a personal thing and we think it's us the problem. That's not the case. It's just that if they're not adopting your solution, it's because they just don't get it yet. And you have to show them. You have to give them that experience so they can be like, aha, now I get it. Now let's sit down on the table and see 
what, you know, how can we value this and how can we come up to an understanding of what the value is and move forward from it. All right, guys, I hope that helps. Peace.